नमस्कार दोस्तों टुडे वी हैव एन एक्सक्लूसिव एंड एक्सेलेंट इंजीनियर विद अस सर हैज डन अ लॉट ऑफ अचीवमेंट्स लेट मी टेल यू बट आई सेड सर इज इज एन इंजीनियर बिकॉज़ आई हैव रिसेंटली रीड अ बुक दैट बुक वाज कॉल्ड एंड इट हैड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइन कॉल्ड इफ गॉड वाज एन इंजीनियर बिकॉज़ इंजीनियर्स आर पीपल हु हैव ऑल द सॉल्यूशंस इन लाइफ टुडे वी हैव प्रोफेसर खारा विदास सर इज द वाइस चांसलर फॉर शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी सर हैज अ ह्यूज रेंज ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एज वेल एज आई मीन डूइंग मल्टीपल रोल्स हिज रिसर्च पेपर्स हैव बीन पब्लिश नेशनली इंटरनेशनली एंड मेनी पीपल हैव डन पीएचडीज अंडर सर लेकिन आज हम जिस वजह से सर का इंटरव्यू ले रहे हैं वो बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग है वजह ये कि जब भी इंजीनियरिंग की कोई बात करता है पीपल ऑलवेज टेन दैट दे वांट टू डू कंप्यूटर साइंस ओनली दैट्स अ ट्रेंड बट सर बीइंग एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियर डिड सो मच फॉर द कंट्री डिड सो मच फॉर द फील्ड एंड देन ही रीच दिस पोजीशन। सो सर थैंक यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर बींग ऑन आर प्लेटफॉर्म सर थैंक यू सो सर एज वी स्टार्टेड वाई डिड यू चूज दिस पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इन योर करियर say i have always uh, inclination towards the engineering and specifically the electronics engineering mm. because uh, electronics is the bottom line of all all the um, no engineering uh, specifically after electrical uh, i mean to say it is the base of the computer science and engineering that mm. time mm. and uh, computer is all about the hardware and right. then then semiconductors and related all these devices which actually used uh for uh, for you know designing and manufacturing lot of appliances so you know that this is the electronic era yeah. so electronic appliances so i choose that uh, besides mechanical civil and electrical and i thought that electronics um, is the uh, technology in demand mm-hmm. so i chose the electronics engineering right sir sir uh, nowadays it is a trend ki bacche jab let's say btech karna chahte hain एंड उनको बोला जाता है कि आप इंजीनियर बन जाओ लेकिन उनको कोई आइडिया ही नहीं है कि विच फील्ड दे वांट टू टेक एक सिंपल सी बात होती है क्योंकि प्लेसमेंट्स आर गुड प्रोबेबली इन सम कॉलेज फॉर सम कोर्सेज क्योंकि अभी आईटी का जमाना है तो लोग सोचते हैं कि सीएस में हमारा प्लेसमेंट अच्छा हो जाएगा एंड दे ब्लाइंडली ऑप्ट फॉर वन फील्ड बाकी सारी चीजों को निग्लेक्ट कर देते हैं सो सर वॉट इज योर एडवाइस फॉर द किड्स की वो कैसे पहचाने कि हमें कौन सी फील्ड उनके लिए लाइफ में अच्छी है अदर इट इज सिविल और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और I mean, you are the expert, sir. See, uh, students no take a decision based on two factors. Mm-hmm. First factor is mostly uh, I have seen in recent time that uh, where job opportunities are there. Mm-hmm. But there are some students uh, they do not think about the job. They uh, think about their inclinations, their passion. Mm-hmm. That in which field actually he wants to contribute and he like most. Mm-hmm. So he wants to take that engineering branch. say some students will be there no uh, for uh, civil engineers mm. because he wants to uh, contribute in the civil architectures and because civil is now expanded a lot and then mechanical engineers okay so do some innovations and all electronics engineers but uh, computer engineers is mostly in recent time it is more sought after uh, branch the reason is that Uh, whatever systems and processes are there in this world mm-hmm. electronic devices mechanical building your uh, finance and with your all administrations uh, everything is uh, software based right because and therefore if everything is software based and package based or server based on erp based system is there now obviously job opportunities will be huge mm. but that does not necessarily mean that uh, no the the car usage let's say for example automobiles will be reduced no car usage is also increasing automobile is increasing right but thing is that now things will be moving towards uh, not pure mechanical mm. it will be no hybrid type of and smart cars are coming so whenever smart objects or smart things you talk about the mass smart appliances computing is necessary so you some kind of computing and some programming uh, features will be there where based on the sense data and informations the lot of user specific 
uh, information and handling mechanism will be given by the user where computer science is involved so computer science is the base of it but still other uh, yes. engineering will will survive and they will do good sir sir coming back to you uh, sir you shifted from uh, technology to administration ji and uh, beautifully i mean sir uh, let me tell you something uh, sir has managed a, a institution before where uh, it used to have 14000 students sir se bhi baat ho rahi thi uh, when sir joined there were only 1000 students and then under his leadership the institution grew to a level where 14000 students were there and now sir is the vice chancellor of sharda university one of the biggest universities in uh, the country yes, yes. and sir uh, currently there are more than 13000 students studying yes, here yes, yes. the best thing about here uh, is when I, we were visiting the campus you find students of a lot of nationalities aapko har ek desh ka bachcha yahan pe mil jayega so sir how easy or difficult it is to manage such a big uh, institution especially for a person who who comes from a technical bent of mind and then going into administration say when in the administration two things are there specifically in the university system hmm. one thing is that uh, the building up of a very solid teaching learning process that is the quality academics and then your knowledge creation that means leading to the research and uh, other things is that what you have mentioned hmm. the challenges that since you co-host the students no uh, of different countries so we have currently uh, students from 65 countries wow. and uh, almost uh, 14% of the students are in, uh, international students wow. and also students no uh, more than 60% students are from ncr mm. so this university is actually a university of diversity mm. and inclusiveness mm -hmm. so there is another challenge mm. because uh, creating the facility ambience and nurturing and uh, hosting those students in the campus making the campus very vibrant and so that they like and they come mm. so that is one aspects a uh, very challenging but we are doing it very efficiently and yes. day by day we are you no know, gaining popularity so that in, in ncr and in the country mm. uh, and in 2018 we had the highest number of foreign students and we are now among top three uh, university probably in india based on my knowledge uh, in terms of the number of foreign students in the university mm -hmm. So uh, that that is a pure administration part, but whereas uh, uh, other side, I told the first point is that building up a university means you have to create a very quality education system. Yes. So at the end of the day, you ensure that yes, my students are learning; mm -hmm. they are gaining the skills, mm -hmm. their ability enhanced. So their ability, skills, and knowledge, and their behavioral part, mm -hmm. this improvement is very very important. Right, sir. Instead of running the particular theory, some hypothesis, some story, and some of the uh, protocols or some of the philosophy, mm. along with that, the skills, the human skills, interpersonal skills, employability skills, and and th their sensitivity towards the society, understanding the society, and then make relevant your knowledge towards the society is very very important for the university. So the implementation of the quality teaching learning process, including all these factors, mm -hmm. uh, and we are doing it and doing it very efficiently, and that's why we are progressing very fast. Absolutely. So these are the these are the leadership. No, uh, very diversified uh, challenges are there, but we have to take the challenge and resolve it and 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 make some impacts on that and move forward. Absolutely, and sir, I mean it is brilliantly I mean done by you because uh, what I presume. If somebody comes from a foreign country and visits Sharda University, for them Sharda is India, for them, because they are living here, studying here, and uh, one, once they go back to their home country, they will create the same image what they get of the college and the kind of security and the kind of homeliness they feel here. I think it it is a bigger thing on a bigger perspective that uh, it is done for the country also. Because when they go back, they say, "Nay, it's a good place. You should also go." So, I mean, uh, as sir said, I mean, uh, 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 we have seen diversity in the campus. But sir, with such challenges, we have to face. I mean, um, uh, what are some challenges that you want, you want to talk about, and then how did you solve it? See, this uh, Middle East and uh, and some of the African countries and uh, and also our neighboring countries. The students are coming. Hmm. 
and uh, suddenly they are coming from that country the language and food habits different mm -hmm. and they are landing in Saba University mm -hmm. in NCA region mm -hmm. so one challenge is that uh, the communications right sir. so and and those countries the students are coming may not be that much efficient in speaking English so right from the beginning we are taking care that at least their English proficiency is increased because yes. their medium of instruction is English yes sir and then we have a very strong student welfare department mm -hmm. and we have very a good support system here mm -hmm. and uh, and and we, our hostels are made no uh, in compliance with the needs international needs for those students mm -hmm. so we have mandala hostels and other hostels where uh, these students are coming and all facilities for them available mm -hmm. so their sports their food uh, habits and their cultural programs are organized here mm -hmm. their national days so as you are telling no they will feel this is as a home away home yes sir. and also we have another slogan that whole world is here where are you, are you? Yes. so this is a mini world yes and uh, we have wonderful infrastructure support we never let uh, students feel that uh, uh, they are not in their country mm -hmm. so we address each and every minute uh, problem and issues uh, of these students and we resolve that mm -hmm. and we have a very big uh, international uh, center mm -hmm. which is headed by uh, Asok Daryani mm -hmm. and uh, and also we have uh, international offices in their respective countries okay so we have a very strong coordination system mm -hmm. and then we address their uh, issues and we collect their issues and and we resolve everything so that they feel and they like this really they like this place very most and not only that and we involve those you no know, students uh, culture uh, 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 in our culture also mm -hmm. involved in our cultural festiv uh, festivals so some kind of assimilation of cultures right. and and some of the combined events are organized and they feel it very very good mm. and happy mm. and so when they go back uh, they are transformed citizens they are different citizens so they go back to the, their country and and they praise a lot and not only the skills the cultural and spirituals and yoga and all these things are uh, given to them and they are very happy and, and they say that we are much benefited and we are now transformed. So great, sir, it's a great initiative because I mean, uh, uh, I know and first one more thing I want to compliment you personally that uh, usually when I meet people who have such huge responsibilities, they uh, very rarely smile. But you always have a smiling yes. face. <laughs> so, 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 I mean, that gives a positive energy to all yeah. the entire uh, space. And obviously the students, they relate with you. Because uh, we have also, uh, I mean, spoken to a couple of students before. And uh, they tell us that uh, the amount of love and affection they get from the faculty and from the head of the institution is great. So, sir, any uh, two points or three points that you want to tell any person, uh, I mean, this can be of any age. Right, sir, because you have such good experience for transition. I mean, like say for the most incredible thing about your profile is that you have transitioned yourself very well from like a person into academics from a, uh, to a person to research and then from research to administration and then from administration to probably going to the head of the department. So how did you, uh, I mean, juggle around so many things and at the same time and do it perfectly well? See, I have uh, got tremendous success in every designations where I, I yes. have worked. Yes. And earlier I worked in uh, VIT Velour, and mm. before that I was in industry for a decade. Then I worked in Galgutia University, and then I am working here. Mm. Uh, the, the the simple philosophy of success, you know, uh, to become a leader or in your profession is to become honest. Okay. It yes. becomes simple. So whatever task is given, do it very efficiently and passionately. Mm -hmm. So passion is uh, very, very important. And and then uh, the care and then uh, doing the things you know, uh, with utmost sincerity. Uh, and then automatically things will follow up. Mm -hmm. So once you create your value, mm -hmm. so through your uh, assigned jobs, if you, if you carry out this efficiently and, and carry out in time, and, and then you creating your values. So, so some people will talk about you and the, this employee out of 10, no, we can give, we can trust and he is very good. Mm -hmm. And so this creating value, every stage I create the value mm -hmm. and then thinking innovatively. Mm -hmm. So whatever task has been given to me mm -hmm. and if I can do it very differently, putting some innovations, if initially my boss is not even liking, but if he mm -hmm. thinks that 
what I have given A, B, C, D, he is not doing that. He is at least putting his own thoughts and interest how to do the things better. Right, right, right. And then you get guidance and then uh, then your boss and in your other people will be very happy. So always doing sincerity and do innovations and, and try to do innovatively and some better things, even whatever task has been given to you and that value will be created, then elevation is sky is the limit. Absolutely, and 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 that is the success, you no know, mantra or success story of my uh, career. That is honesty. Yeah, that is the honesty and doing the things very sincerely and take the ownership and uh, whatever my leadership has been given at different stages, mm -hmm. I have always handhold. Right. I I never let my subordinate to know that I am less competent. I do not know. Mm -hmm. Even I know and handhold, they do it and they come up and they become leader. Right. So the learning inquisitiveness and uh, then working and then uh, leadership today, leadership should be not that, that dictatorship leadership, leadership mm -hmm. should be very participative and hand holding leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then success comes very uh, easily and then you are able to execute certain tasks because you are able to uh, take the people under you along with you and they contribute and they love to work and then teams, team spirit is automatically built up. Right. So that's why my uh, philosophy of working is that uh, the participative leadership mm -hmm. and uh, taking and working in a team mm -hmm. and and also uh, um, let the uh, my team know that uh, I, uh, I equally take interest I know uh, and I can give guidance mm -hmm. because I have also come across through those uh, stages. Absolutely. So that is that's why experience at every stage is very very required. Mm. So whenever somebody becomes leader and actually and different stages, you know, uh, the professor and different coordinators, then HOD, then dean, then pro vice chancellors and different responsibilities. Uh, if experience is lagging and suddenly somebody is coming at the top chair, then only dictatorship will be there. Then participative, uh, this leadership probably will be missing. So mm. that time a yeah, problem may be there. Mm. In my case, it is different. I have well, no, no, all experiences. I have come across from assistant professor to these days, almost carrying out all the responsibilities. Yes. Uh, that's why I, I always, uh, under me, I guide them and have a very handholding type of uh, leadership and I am quite successful. Yes, sir. And uh, definitely, guys, we need to understand this and learn this from sir's experience that if you are open for new ideas, if you are not a person who who likes to do their job like a nine to five duty and go home and sleep but rather you take responsibility you you are i mean not today but anyways a leader in your life it will grow so that is the reason we do all these interviews sir because uh, uh, i think kids are, or probably adults also they they uh, will have a genuine source from where they can take inspiration from where they can learn and uh, sir, my last question to you is because you are a busy man, uh, we have taken a lot of time, sir. So, sir, my last question to you is if you want to give any message to the youth, what will be your message, sir? My message to the youth is that uh, uh, passion. You work with the passion, whatever uh, uh, task is assigned to you and complete it. And then second is that you do your, your work or your every activities for your childhood and a dream because once you have been child and you are uh, thinking a lot of uh, futuristic you no know, dreams were there so go back there and do for that a kid and then you will be always motivated in your life right sir thank you so much i think uh, it was a wonderful interaction and many people will be benefited out of this. Uh, sir has taken out his time out of his busy schedule just for you guys. So uh, remember to hit like, subscribe to our channel and we will bring more inspirational stories. And uh, uh, I, we will also hope that sir will give us some other time so that we can talk about other topics to you sir. Sure. And if you want to get in touch with sir and you want and you want to ask any questions, so we will put our mail ID in the description. You can write an email to us and we will send it to sir. Sure, sure. And whenever he has time, he will reply and we will try to, uh, I mean, connect you with him. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. Thank you.